Hello dear learners of OUS, it's my pleasure that you meet for the second time in a new syllabus which is the series of readings. This lies in six books, readings 1, readings 2, readings 3, readings 4, readings 5 and reading 6. This series of readings well, has objectives. This series has certain objectives. Number one is to acquaint the learner and familiarize the learner with uh, vocabulary. Good stock of vocabulary that ranges between simple and um, bridge series. Oh, yes, of this uh, reading uh, series. Number one actualizing three stories. Readings number one license three stories. It aims for, as I said just a few minutes ago, acquainting the learners of a stock of vocabulary. Again, it aims at you are telling the reader the different techniques of reading, how to read fast and slow reading, comprehensive reading, intensive reading, how to scan a passage and how to skim a passage. Usually we scan a passage for just one piece of information while scanning a passage is just for a global idea. So these are some of the aims behind this series of readings. Together with acquainting yet the learner with the culture of what they are reading. Actually literature and short stories in particular and fiction tell the reader about the culture of the nation that you are reading to. Just for example, if we want to us to reflect the idea of snowing, it doesn't snow here in Sudan. It doesn't snow here in Sudan. Just we get the idea of snowing or it snows, yes, from the culture, from literature. Going through literature, uh, we see the nature of different countries how nature participate in making the scene for the stories and the plot of the story itself, then we get this idea of cultural background about the certain nation. Yes, from reading again, we know the characterization, how the writer will develop his characters, the different kind of characters, stock character, flat character. So from the characterization of the writer, we could Yes, get inside the, uh, the, the, the character that the author shapes for the readers to enjoy the reading actually. And again, the scene and the plot of the story and the climax and the anticlimax of the story. All we, these things we get them and learn them from the reading of stories, particularly short stories. Here, reading number one, readings number one, this series or this is book lies in three different stories, lies in three different stories. Number one, the story of John Doe, story of John Doe. Usually we tell the name John Doe for the character that is well unknown. If the name of the character is unknown, we call him uh, John Doe. This is actually in uh, British fiction, actual British stories. This story is well written by Antoinette Moses, John Doe, the first story in readings number one, by the writer Antoinette Moses. Number one, number two is Sue Leda, who writes yes, the big picture. The second story in readings number one is the big picture. This is written by Sue Leda. And the third one is Help. The third one is Help, written by uh, Browser, Fleet Browser. So our focus, while well, in this class or in this session, 
today is going to be on John Doe, the story of John Doe, that is written by Antoinette Moses. John Doe, in readings number one, this is the book that tells the story. Readings number one, this is the first book in the series of readings. So it comes, readings two, readings three, readings four, five, and six. So this is the first one. And this lies, in, as I've told you, in three short stories. John Doe, The Big Picture, and Help. So our focus in this class, in this lecture in particular, is about John Doe. So what is behind this story? This story, first of all, lies in six chapters. Chapter one speaks about the man without a name. The man without a name. Again, John Doe, this story lies in six chapters. Chapter one entitles The Man Without a Name. The Man Without a Name. Chapter two entitles Nurse Angela. Nurse Angela. Chapter three entitles Who is John Roberts? Yes, in a, a term of a question. Who is John Roberts? And chapter 4 is entitled Waiting. Chapter 5 entitles Goodbye Holiday. Goodbye Holiday. And chapter 6, A Cup of Coffee. So these are the three chapters that composed the first story, which is entitled John Doe. John Doe by Anthony Moses by Anthony Moses. What is in chapter one? Chapter one starts yes by a man who is hospitalized. This man is found in the street by a lady. The lady reported the police. The police brought this man to the hospital. This hospital actually runs by Dr. Cox. Dr. Philip Cox. Dr. Philip Cox tries his utmost effort to get the name of this man, but he failed. He failed to get the, the name of this man. And also he failed to get where this man from. So these are the two puzzles that faced while Dr. Cox at the hospital at a town called Exeter. Town called Exeter, the man was hospitalized there. And this man couldn't give a response of, yes, giving his name or where he is from. And like this man actually is called John Doe. That is why the name of the book is called John Doe. But he smiles. He smiles a bit when they mention the name John. It has certain particularities with, yes, this name. Then this man, it seems that he suffers from amnesia, the disease that makes a man... Yes, forgets things very quickly. Sort of oblivious. He forgets things. Now, Dr. Cox tries his utmost effort, but he failed every now and then to get the name of this man who is hospitalized. At his help, Nurse Angela, who is working at the same hospital. And actually, Dr. Cox is going to yes, go on a holiday for a week. He's having a week away or out of the hospital. And then he recommended doctor, uh, the nurse Angela to look after the man, to elicit, to get his name. She tries. She tries to give him, yes, cues to get the name. Said man, she says man, when she says man, he is supposed to give the opposite woman, happy. She is to say, he is to say sad. Well, it happens that Nelson Gela mentions the name woman, he said dead. So we could circle this word dead. It has something to do with the story. So Nelson Gela, well, got puzzled at answering this answer, which is not relevant to he's supposed to, uh, he's supposed to answer. Now, John Roberts, in chapter 3, is found in a note that woman that who is found dead, 
she is tennis player and uh, her partner reported the police that this one lady is found dead and near her room there is they found a note while well, it goes like that uh, hello i am having dinner with john robert a friend but the letter unfortunately is unfinished this actually is found this found well in a program called crime seek a program called crime seek well it happened that john cox while on holiday turned on the tv and he watched while well, this program he watched this program and he found that well the name robert john roberts john roberts well who dined with mary that lady who is found dead in her room so John Roberts might be might be behind this crime and they have shown his picture it happened that Dr. Cox, uh, Dr. Cox to realize the picture yes of this guy who is screened while well, in this program that crime seek so quickly he telephoned nurse Angela at an hour that she is supposed to be at her home and she well got puzzled she is astonished is that dr cox to phone her yes during his holidays and she is out of work these are two strange times yes for phoning a lady then he asked her about this guy john doe the man without a name who is hospitalized at their hospital is he still there this is a question now nurse angela unfortunately told dr cox that the lady that john doe well is out of hospital is out of hospital and he's directed to a house that usually people without any lodgings or resident they are directed to stay there until they found their places or they go away so this man who is hospitalized it happened that to follow nurse angela to our house without she is knowing this activity see in secrecy yes he is following nurse angela to her house and he knew where she stays finishing while his day he went and lurked behind the house he lurked behind the house waiting for nurse angela that is why chapter 4 carries the title or the title waiting so he waited there until she get in while she found him they shake hands actually or they shook hands and then she told him that he is a little bit cold and he's supposed to take something hot he's supposed to take something hot she invited him actually to take something hot at her house but he's supposed actually to go to the supermarket to get some milk yes to make uh, coffee white coffee actually with that milk but unfortunately nurse angela discovered that this guy is lurking in the kitchen with a knife in hand with a knife in his hand he's supposed to commit another crime he's supposed to commit another crime but she is a little bit clever actually to elongate the situation or this scene she actually asked him to wait a little bit until she make the coffee and then she talked to him and asked him some questions okay to give a lot of time yes for the at this time the phone rang again and dr cox told the police that this guy yes they are looking about is lurking in that house of angela Okay, dear learners, until we meet again in another session, thank you very much.